Well, we are all ready to put the pandemic behind us, though people are continuing to come down with COVID-19. We are all affected by the illness, including children. And earlier this week, the FDA authorized a new COVID-19 vaccine for children six months to four years and older. We have Carl pediatrician Dr. Stephanie Schroeder here. She's got a little bit more information for us. So Dr. Schroeder, thank you for being with us. Um, I know a lot of pa parents have kind of been anxiously awaiting the arrival of this vaccine for their little ones. So what can you tell us about this vaccine? So there are two different ones, but Moderna and Pfizer, the two brand names, uh, but they are both going to work well for your little ones. Uh, Moderna is two shots given about 28 days apart. And the Pfizer vaccine is three vaccines given over the course of three months. Um, but really, we're encouraging families to get whatever they've got available to them. And will people expect those? I know some people, when they have their vaccine, they felt a little bit under the weather for an amount of time afterwards. Would you expect the same thing for your kids as well? Yeah, they can have a little bit of soreness where that uh, where the vaccine went in. They might be a little bit more cranky, more fussy. They might be a little bit more tired, maybe run a little bit of a fever. Kind of think about when they got their first couple of rounds of vaccines, how they responded, and they may respond similarly. Okay, so one's two shots, one's three shots. Mm -hmm. um, what do pediatricians, or why do our, our pediatricians and other healthcare experts think it's important for infants and kids to have a vaccine? So even though children tend to have less severe COVID infections, they're still getting sick and they're still getting COVID. And then that then allows them to pass it along to other family members or other friends. And so we still want them to get vaccinated. It can also help prevent them from having long-term COVID effects if they, get, <clears throat> if they do then get COVID. And what would you say to the parents that are hesitant to maybe try something new for their children being young and what would you say to them to encourage them? There's been a lot of research done into the base of this vaccine and they've looked at different doses as far as what's going to be most effective. And so these doses are significantly smaller than the adult doses in the hopes that then they still trigger the right immune response but with fewer side effects. What kind of side effects would they be experiencing, do you think? The same ones as, mm -hmm. as an adult? Less likely at the same ones as an adult, but they still cranky and fussy. Lower levels of the same kind of stuff, but shouldn't be as severe as the adults. Do we know yet that if, if an infant or ch young child has this vaccination at a certain point in time later, will they have to get another one? Like, do you think it'll be just continual after a couple of years? Or that's I hard. Don't know that's this hard to say since yeah. it's all so new, and it is still all so new for us as adults, right? But I can't anticipate that probably, even though the Moderna initial series is two shots, that there's likely going to be a booster kind of later on down the road. Um, at just kind of like those three shots in that Pfizer series. And same with why they're encouraging adults to get their boosters. Mm -hmm. I know um, in, the, in recent weeks, we've been hearing about this surge of COVID in Champaign County, especially. Are we seeing a surge with COVID and children coming to, to Carl and needing to be, you know, treated, visited? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, not that I am aware of, but Children do see a large variety. Of, there's a whole host of us as pediatricians and family medicine providers that see children. Um, but as far as I know, I've not seen a ton of positive results come into my chart. Let's hope it stays that yes, way. That would yes. be the best outcome for for sure. If parents are interested in getting their, their little one vaccinated, you actually have an opportunity this weekend for them to take advantage of that. Yes, we do. We have a vaccine clinic this weekend on Saturday. You do need to have a scheduled appointment for that. So you can call our COVID hotline to get that scheduled, or you can call your regular primary care provider to ask further questions and get scheduled. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if they have specific questions. questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so carl.org is a great resource, as is calling into your regular pediatrician's office or family medicine providers. Uh, they'll be able to answer any questions that parents may have. Oh, wonderful. Oh. I know we're all ready to see COVID in the rear view. <laughs> we and, sure are. Um, we all just want to be healthy this summer and heading into fall, and we appreciate you coming, sharing all of that information there with us.
All right, there's a look at their website, and we'll connect you to their website over on our website, CRLiving.tv. And we appreciate Carol for, excuse me, Carl for sponsoring today's segment. <laughs>